All right, guys, so here's the sled uh, workout that's going to be done on the hill. So the hill is just, uh, you know, right outside Coda. So it's going to be right here. Too easy. Um, the scorecard's going to look like this. So it's going to be one sled pull up the hill, 12 snatches, and then one sled pull down the hill. The hill is going to be marked every 10 meters with um, some chalk or some spray paint. We haven't really decided yet. Here I put some cones out just so you guys can kind of visualize it. And that actually counts as one rep. What's important to understand on this workout is that the sled must be past the cone for a rep to count. So, for instance, if Jared was pulling this, he wouldn't count till there, right? That, when it passes the cone, the whole sled past the mark, that's what we're saying is good. And that includes going up, it includes coming back, it includes all the reps in between. Hey, come here. Man, he's getting in the road. All right, so um, both the guys and girls, <laughs> the guys are going to have three plates, so three 45s on their sled. This is for the beginner and advanced division. And the girls are going to have two plates, two 45s, for the beginner and advanced division. So it'll be set where it'll start with the sled, yeah, on this side of the line, just like so. Excellent. Athletes will be on the sled ready to go and i would say the head judge is going to yell go probably not three two one go because they will start early so um you know athletes stand by and go they go up the sled fast up the hill it's 60 meters uh not drawn to scale today i'll be honest okay so watching this passes go oh, good good if it wasn't passed like let's say for instance maybe jared finished right here you would yell at him, back, back, you got to finish it, finish it. And he would have to pull through a little more. Nice. Now he's going to move on to snatches. When we're doing the snatches, it'll be on a black mat. And so there'll be the stall mats out here for you guys to use. Now, while this is happening, uh, there's going to be an equipment guy, gal, who's out here spinning the sleds around, getting them set up back to the line, and then putting the straps out. So that's going to happen. You guys don't need to worry about that. All right, so now we're on to 12 dumbbell snatches. These are the thing that's gonna be a big separator. Appreciate it. Oh yeah. Um, so this is gonna be the big separator right here. And so what we wanna do is make sure every rep on this is good. I want every, and you as a judge, really need to be loud if they're getting no rep for anything. Cause if you're just telling them no rep, three times that could literally take someone from first to tenth place on three no reps so we need to be loud about why they're not getting no rep and i would say there's really only a couple different things one of them could be that their hand is on their their opposite hand is on their body so that hand is not allowed to touch the body it's got to be out yeah i want it out out of the way the other thing is that when they go up right we want that solid like crisp lockout if it's over like this that's not good tell them over the body over the body yeah good so um, and I would just say, you know, lock out overhead would be a good cue for that one. And then the next one, when they come down, they can either switch in the air or on the ground, but both heads of the dumbbell have to touch the ground. If only one head touched, you'd say, no, both heads, both heads, right, touching the ground. Now, in regionals and uh, the open, I know that if they get no rep on the right side, then they have to go back and do that right side. I don't care about that. So if Jared gets no rep on one side and he, he's going real fast, that's a no rep. You got to lock out, get it overhead. I would count that one because they're going fast. Only 12 reps. I just want him to be Chris 12 fast. Good, good. So after he's done 12, he's got to put the dumbbell on the ground. If he drops it at any point, it, it falls with gravity. That last rep didn't count. So I'd send him back. Oh, you got no rep. One more, one more. And then I would yell, set it down set it down now he's back to the sled okay so again you're gonna have your stopwatch he's picking up his slack and he's going as fast as he can now down the hill hopefully you're running with him so that when they cross that line you're able to yell hit your stopwatch and then write their time down here in the top right right uh, print your name so that we can come back and ask you questions if something crazy happens and then get them to sign off. Um, we'll reset and then we'll go get in the next heat. So the question then comes out, what happens if someone 
doesn't finish. Maybe they get caught on the snatches or you know they don't make it all the way back. So let's say we had an athlete right here who did their sled pull, did their 12 snatches, good, and then they were coming down the hill and they didn't quite make it. And let's say they made it through four of the six stations. So you would put four reps right here and you would circle it. Don't write a time down. Don't put a time. The, the head scorekeeper will figure out the score based on that right there. You don't need to do anything else. Have them sign, you print your name, hand it to the runner, and then the head judge will give you um, your next scorecard for the next heat. Anything else, Jared? I think he's good. All right, guys.